How to stop wasting your life? Why is this such an important question to most people? I mean, why did you click on this video? Why do you want to not waste your life? Is it even possible? Because what is waste? Isn't this a concept? What I mean with concept is that could it be that it is an idea that you've created for yourself or the people around you, anyone basically that you have been in touch with in your life, either influencers online or people in your real life, and that all these opinions of others have created what you believe is called waste and you want the opposite? Because of course you see waste, a waste of life as bad. But could it be that it is an endless cycle? And with that I mean that in your search for not a wasted life, you will find something that temporarily does not feel like a waste of time, but that it is a matter of time before that feels like a waste of time again. And then the cycle repeats, you search for something else that doesn't feel like a waste until that does. And that there is no way, like no chance that you will ever find something that for always does not feel like a waste. I'm not saying this is true, but let's make it practical to see if it is for yourself. Maybe what does not feel like a waste of time right now to most people? Well, maybe money, right? So then they earn money. Some people earn a lot of money. And let's say you do. At some point in the future, you earn a lot of money doing something you may like or dislike. Maybe the days are filled with most work you don't like. Or maybe days are filled with mostly work you like. But then money is not important anymore because you have it. So then anything you do start to feel like a waste of time. Because you did it in the first place. You started doing it for the money. And now what you get from it, from the work, from the activities you do, is money. But you have enough of it. You look for something else that does not feel like a waste. Maybe it's philanthropy, start to donate money or volunteer. Maybe you travel to Africa and do charity work and that feels great for some time, but then you look for something else. Maybe that's new. Maybe you keep looking for novelty, but maybe you don't have a partner. So you look for a partner. You go on dates, you try different things, you travel. Eventually you find your partner, you marry or you don't, but now you have that as well. And you like your partner. So going on new dates seems like a waste of time for there's a low chance you will find something better. You have the money. Money. So earning more money feels like a waste of time. You've done your charity work and donated part of your money. So doing more of that doesn't feel satisfying. And all the time the question stays alive. How do I not waste my life? That is what I mean with this endless cycle. But could it be that by keeping this question alive, thinking it is an important question, that you're actually wasting your life, that it is a big <laughs> paradox, basically. Because what is really going on with that question? What are you really asking? By asking that question, aren't you saying that right now you are wasting your life and that that isn't true? What's going on with the person who says, I'm wasting my life right now? I feel like I'm wasting my life. Well, for sure, it seems to be that in, in that person's life, there is something missing. So he or she has something not right now. He or she lacks, misses something right now, but don't know what or who. And there is in it the idea that you have a life. And I, and I don't try to be vague here. But aren't you life? It's the idea that you have a life completely, just an illusion. It's difficult to explain what I mean if you don't understand what I said already. You may repeat that part, but there's two different things. You think you have a life or you are life right now. And that you have a life, there are so many implications that aren't true, right? That there is a future guaranteed that you will somewhere far in the future but that that isn't right now well that is true you aren't you aren't that right now but the illusion that it will never happen almost because that's how most people live that they well they know they will but it seems like even my grandma who is i'm not sure about the exact age maybe 83 even she doesn't seem to know that she could the next minute which is very likely at that age because my other grandma just out of nowhere well almost passed away but it seems like even at that age most people still think it will happen maybe next year maybe a year from now or maybe five years because of the idea that they have a life and that there is time and could it even be that questions that the masses are asking the majority of people are interested in because this is a question the, the, the question how do i not waste my life it is a big popular question could it be that those kind of questions are never the right ones to ask because the majority of society lives in lies, in illusion. I think it is an interesting one. I'm not sure if it is true, but I do think it could apply for most questions that are really popular, that they're not ones you should consider asking. So what do you really want to know with this question? What is it people want to know? 
Because often the actual question is not the thing they want to know. The actual question people have is often layers deep. So when do people ask this question? Could it be in moments of unclarity? And that it is clarity they look for. But that clarity is fleeting. It's well, a very similar cycle as mentioned earlier. Could that be? That if you look continuously look for clarity, that you will spend your life looking for clarity. And that you'll temporarily get it. But that it's a matter of time before things become unclear again. What if you didn't feel bad in moments of unclarity? I'm sure they happen with you. They happen with me. So when I feel unclear, I don't like the feeling. What if I was okay with it? Didn't feel good nor bad. Then would I still be asking the question? Then would I still be interested in clarity, in knowing what to do so I do not feel like I'm wasting time? If you knew it was a certainty that unclarity will always be there unless for a temporary moments of clarity. But that for the rest of your life, most of the time, things will be unclear. If you knew that would always be the case, 100% certain, then would you still care about it? If you knew you never found a lasting answer, an answer that would never change to the question of how do I not waste my life? If it was guaranteed that you would never find an answer to that question, would you still ask it? So then what is the answer? To not ask the question, but then what about my feeling? I don't feel right right now, I don't feel good. It's interesting, because such a question you wouldn't ask if you knew tomorrow you would. Please imagine, just for a moment, you knew tomorrow you're going to, you know, the exact time, 10 a.m. Then you would not ask such a question. You would probably not ask any question, I guess. Or maybe the question like, what will I do? Or you would just start doing the thing, the last few things you want to do. Because there is no concept of time anymore. I mean, yes, maybe until the next day. So you will start to do what matters most to you. And that the truth about this whole question could be that that you do not waste your life only if you actually start living instead of being lived by your mind and all these thoughts and questions and more so by the concept the idea that you have a life instead that you are life itself part of life part of nature if there's only one thing you take away from this video it may be to ask yourself in this situation or any other situation what is really the truth and if you want to learn more about the truth you may watch this video next talk soon and here's my poem about the essence of this video talk soon in english we ask how do we not waste our days in poetry we say searching for meaning in countless ways money love and charity we seek them all but when we find them they feel so small the cycle spins round and round. New pursuits are sought and found, but satisfaction slips away as we chase purpose day by day. What if the question itself is the trap upon our shelf, keeping us from living true, always seeking something new? Perhaps the keys to embrace the unclear moments we must face? So what matters now when you let go of shoots and how? In the search to not waste time, don't we miss life in real time?